Alright everyone, in this video we're going to be going over the automations and how the workflows work and how they connect to Roho. So, let's click on automation here. We have two folders. Um, the only one we really need to check out is actually the first one, AI Bot Workflows. Okay, so I'll just give you guys a little um, rundown. How this works is when a message comes in, right? When any message comes in from any channel, we're going to check if the AI bot is active. Now, something really, really important to understand about Roho is this tag. The tag AI bot active is probably the most important thing about Roho. Um, this is basically the on off switch, right? Or it is the on off switch. So if this tag is not on the contact, then the bot will not respond. Um, the bot only responds when the AI bot active tag is on there. So the first thing we're going to do when we get a message is check if the AI bot active tag is on that contact. If it's not, then we're not going to do anything. If it is, then the next thing we're going to do is check what kind of message we just received. So if it was SMS, Instagram, so on. And depending on which channel it was from, we're going to generate and send a response. Okay, so if it was Facebook, we're going to make the reply channel Facebook. We're going to tell the AI to add this message to the conversation and then respond to the conversation and the most recent um, message. So that is the generation. And this um, workflow you should not change. You should not change this workflow. This is the workflow that sends out the message. So, so basically how Roho works is it updates custom fields using the AI response. And when that custom field is changed, right, with the AWS Python functions, then it triggers this workflow. So if the Instagram GPT message field is changed, right, so on, then we're going to add the notes that the AI generated. And then we're going to do another check, right, to make sure that the AI bot is turned on. So check for the tag AI bot active. And then again, we're going to check what type of message this is. In this case, we're just going to check from the workflow triggers. And depending on which channel, again, we're going to send out on the correct channel with the correct message. So that is the general um, way that that Roho is working but now let's look at how to actually start the bot so this is another very common question is how do I get the bot to start talking to someone right so let's check out this workflow right here again the bot only responds when it has the AI bot active tag on so you have a couple options you can just have a workflow that adds the AI bot active tag whenever whenever a new message comes in or to everyone or you could have it from a form submission so when a form is submitted this could be a Facebook form as well so if you would like the AI to respond you just set that trigger and we're gonna add the AI bot active tag but we're also gonna send out our intro message so this custom value correlates with the intro message from the um, iframe of the Roho app so when any of these triggers happen, when a keyword, right, we're going to send out our intro message. Hey, John, this is Daniel from Roho AI. Are you interested in scaling? But we're also going to add the AI bot active tag to make sure that the bot responds to the next messages. All right. So you can add this, you know, have any trigger that you want. Um, you can even do reactivations by adding a tag and triggering this workflow itself. So that is how you're going to start the bot and send out the initial message. Let's get back to workflows. Now, the way Roho works is it adds tags as well, right? So we're going to have some default tags that are added throughout your conversation. And these are going to update in the pipeline based on the AI's, um, you know, the AI's determination of which stage it's in. 
every single conversation, if it goes on long enough, will end with a link sent tag being added, right? The link sent tag will always be added, even if you're booking directly to the calendar, right? The link sent tag will be added because it's basically um, the, the end goal. It's like the end goal tag, okay? So if you would like to do anything or turn the bot off or, you know, have some other automation run when the link sent tag is added, you can have that run here as well. All right. Now, if you'd like to book directly to the calendar, you can do so by just switching on this automation. Right? So this automation is triggered by that link send tag being added. So when the bot normally would send a calendar link, right? The link send tag is added, but we're actually gonna remove the AI bot active tag. So instead of sending the calendar link, we're going to use our appointment booking bot and book appointments conversationally. So if you'd like to book directly to your calendar, just simply switch this on, select your calendar, and then press save. All right.